Hey! What? Hey! What? Boys can't play sports against girls. Can't you just try to enjoy the Olympics? No! There are enough things in the world that are difficult and bad and bleak, but the Olympics are just supposed to be like fun and entertaining and inspiring. So you're really just okay with boys hitting girls? No, but you kind of weirdly are. Aren't you actively trying to make it illegal for women who are in abusive relationships with men to seek a divorce from those men unless they can prove that they are being abused? Yeah, but that's because the family and traditional marriage and values because of, but because of Bible, and I, I but I, because I like, I, I, I like Trump. Jesus Christ, that was an absolute train wreck of a sentence. Why don't you just tell me what happened? A boy hit a girl really hard. Okay, so I just looked it up, and I'm guessing you're talking about Imane Khalif from Algeria, who was boxing an Italian woman named Angela Carini, but the punching was way too hard in boxing. The sport where whoever punches the other person hardest wins. Yeah, but boys punch boys and girls punch girls. Except girls have to punch each other not too hard. Because if you punch each other too hard, then that is because they're boys. Okay, so it says that Imani Khalif was assigned female at birth and has lived her entire life as a woman in a country where it is literally illegal to be transgender. Aren't you always saying that a person is whatever gender they were assigned at birth and there's nothing they can do to change that? Testinsterone. What? Testiculone. Are you trying to say testosterone? Yeah, she got a bunch of te te testosterone. So that means that she's a boy. Let's say a baby's born and it's got a vagina. Vagina. What should the doctor say, boy or girl? Girl, obviously. Okay, so they assign the baby female at the hospital. The parents start to raise the baby as a little girl. I like little girls. I'm gonna pretend you didn't say that, but let's say that eventually this little girl starts to feel emotionally like a man. What? And decides to start taking testosterone to transition and live socially as a man. No! Would this person who was assigned female at birth now having higher testosterone levels than an average woman qualify in your mind as a real bona fide man. I don't like Whoa! Yeah, but you just said that Imani Khalif, a woman who has been legally identified as a woman for her entire life, is a man because she has higher testosterone levels than an average woman. XY chromosome. Dude, be for real with me. There's nobody else around. Just this one time, be honest with me. Do you actually think you know how chromosomes work? I do. I really do, actually. Okay, but no you don't. So first of all, there have been no credible sources reporting that she has XY chromosomes. But even if she did, there are many women with intersex variations that result in them having XY chromosomes. And I know that you don't know what an intersex variation is, but that's kind of my whole point, right? You're out of your depth. She punches too hard. But her professional record is nine and five, which means that sometimes other women punched harder than her. She lost at the 2020 Olympics to an Irish boxer named Amy Broadhurst. Was she a woman that day? Is Amy Broadhurst a woman? Oh my God. They're all boys. No, they're all women. Look, it's just science, okay? Girls can't punch hard or be strong. There is nothing weird about an Olympic level boxer being good at punching. Nothing weird about an Olympic level sprinter being fast. Nothing weird about an Olympic gymnast being able to jump high. Every single woman at the Olympics who's competing as a boxer could knock you into a life-threatening coma with a single punch because that is what they are trained to do. The only reason why you think any woman who is too good at her sport is secretly a man is because you have a bad brain and you are a bigot. Okay, then why do I have the same opinion as JK Rowling and Elon Musk? Seriously? It's, it's because, because you have a bad brain and you're a bigot.